Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Chuck Minty and I am just asking for you to subscribe to my channel. Push the like button. Share my videos. Okay, please. Subscribe. Absolutely subscribe. No free watchers. Okay, you have to subscribe. Please, please, please. If you're watching my video, please subscribe. Okay. Thank you very much. Hello. So I'm just wondering about what to do a video on. And you know, I have uh, many friends here who I know from my channel, people that have moved here because of my channel. They have found me on the street or emailed me and said, I moved to Da Nang because of your videos. And so I want to explore a little bit about why this place is just so amazing. It's just, I love Da Nang. I do, I just love it. You know, sometimes I get a little tired of it because I've been here for a long time, but then again, I think if I left here, it would probably be difficult to come back. Although I did leave and I did come back, so, but I came back for a reason and it's because it's so easy to be here. This place is like heaven. More and more people have told me this place is like heaven. And it is. I mean, the food's great. It's cheap to be here. The weather is fabulous. I'm, you know, the beach is right there on the other side of those trees. Here's the view from my $294 a month apartment. You know, it's a little urban, but like I said, the beach is 200 meters that way. So let me take some time to show you really why I think Da Nang is like heaven. It's like heaven. Okay, let's go. Hi. So like I said, this is my $294 a month apartment. My workstation. I had to buy that table, but everything else pretty much was here. There's my front door. And I bought that bookcase just because I had all this stuff sitting on this table for almost a year before I just said, I want some, a little order instead of uh, clutter. So I just decided to buy that. That was cheap. It was like $12 and they delivered it and built it here. And I bought the fan and I bought the bug light, that's my zapper light. But all this stuff was here. Nice kitchen, uh, you know, good size fridge, better than the fridge I had in Tbilisi, which was like half fridge, tiny fridge. And I love my bathroom, wonderful bathroom. And I've showed you this in other videos, but I'll show you again. It's got an amazing shower head function. And the, you know, it's got a bidet hose, so that's nice. And, you know, I use that mostly just to clean the inside of my toilet. <laughs> Hi, nice hair. Got a haircut. <laughs> and my bedroom AC in both rooms pretty good size closet for one person you know nice big bed love my bed it's firm great bed suitcases various backpacks washing machine outside AC unit And this is a service department, so I have a cleaning lady come in once a week and she changes my sheets and mops my floor and does my dishes and, I mean, if there are any, I'm usually good about that. So, point one, wonderful cheap apartments. This is seven million a month and I have to pay electricity, which is 3,500 dong per kilowatt, which worked out to be uh, the month of September was 
nine hundred something, nine hundred thousand dong, which is forty bucks for tons of electricity use. Like I've got laptops, speakers, TV, they're always on. Two lamps, fridge running all the time. AC, when I'm here, the fan is running pretty much all the time. So is my bug light. Um, and AC in here, uh, still, it will cool off pretty soon to the point where I won't need AC. The, just the fan will be good. But often I'm running AC and the fan. Because it's, you know, it gets warm here. Okay, so, and I'll show you, here's my front hall. Which is nice. And let's go, I'm leaving here, so. I'm gonna go eat, I'm starving. Wait, do I want my hat? Yeah, I think I want my hat. I'll put it on. So, and I'm shooting this with my GoPro 5 because my I haven't received my replacement GoPro 9 yet. But here, I'll show you my building. I'll show you this. This is to the north. That's nice. There's Tien Sopper Hedge right there. The emergency stairs down. And there's stairs around the elevator too, so there's two ways to get, three ways to get down. <laughs> you know, it's amazing how Led Zeppelin puts me in a good mood. <laughs> no matter what I'm doing, I just put on the Best of Led Zeppelin album on YouTube and turn it up, and it just always puts me in a good mood. Led Zeppelin. Okay, so, my amazing building. Pool. That needs to be cleaned. So does that one. But so the another point, another point of just amazing wonderment is that uh, motorbikes. I mean, you have to have a license, and I got my license. A lot of people drive without licenses. Even the Vietnamese drive without licenses. But this costs me. Uh, one million a month, which is about 40 bucks. And all I do is drive it and put gas into it. And Jessica and Kwong, who I rent from, uh, do everything else. They put, they, they change oil. You know. Okay, so what am I doing? I am, let me turn this off and start it again. Actually, I'm going to go eat. Here's Loving Vegan. And yay, it's mid-afternoon and it's empty and that's great. So I just ordered pho and a coconut. And the vegan pho here is really good. And it's something I just discovered like in the past month. Really good. My pho, vegan pho, looks so good, oh my god. And yes, we need to be super careful. Coming out onto the street.
And yes, there's Starbucks in heaven. <laughs> So spoiled, it's like the only coffee I drink anymore. is that the weather is always outstanding I mean even when it's rainy and stormy it's still fun because there's an energy to that that's just really kind of nice and I mean as you can see right now it's it's a uh, 85 and blue or this is October 5 I think October 5th or 6th and 85 degrees and blue sky and fabulous fabulous oh my god I hate that word fabulous I hate that word don't let me say it <laughs> amazing fantastic oh spectacular ah! such a fun town oh my god and so affordable that's the big deal right almost anybody can afford to live here and right now so I have a visa I got my visa for three months on September 15th so I don't have that expense right now and I have a stash of meds so I don't have that expense right now so I got paid I paid rent I paid motorbike and the rest of it's like you know what am I gonna do I am um, trying to figure out my new passport. I have to get a new passport and I'm trying to figure that out, but that's not an emergency. You know, I'm running out of pages. I have like nine pages left, but they go fast, but I still have three years, like it expires in 26. But, uh, so now's the time to do it. So I can get my new passport without complicating the visa process into the new passport process do one at a time you know so if I uh, get a new passport then I can leave on my old passport and come back in on my new passport in December yes okay so I want to hit the ATM I love this place oh my god so I want to shop for shoes I want to shop for shoes. I took my friend Yen shopping for shoes at Han Market and I need new shoes. I don't have any, I, I have some crappy, weird ass Russian knockoffs that were supposed to be ASICs, but they're not ASICs. There's some weird, 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 weird thing. And, and so I want to replace them with Vietnamese knockoffs. <laughs> That's the world we live in. <laughs> okay. 
This street is called Tran Phu. T R A N P H U. And it's pronounced Chan Phu. And it's a fun street. I love this street. It's good for walking. In fact, I might walk for a while. I might walk for a while. This is good. Hello. Hello. Uh, okay, maybe I'll. Uh, well, I'm going to turn my camera off just for a second. I'll turn it back on when I get in. Well, hang on. I'll just leave it. Okay. I'm approaching Han Market here. I hope this video is useful. Usable. Perhaps I will get some. Oh, these are so terrible. Yeah, these are knockoffs. Terrible knockoffs. Although, well, look at these. These are cool. Huh. I will keep looking. Hello. I know, thank you. So, um, tell me your name, please. Kim Long. So this is Kim Long store here inside Han Market. I just bought a kilo. I have kilo, kilo of, ki okay. of macadamia nut. Kilo. I have a. I just bought a kilo of macadamia nuts from Kim. Okay. And um, I will come back to her. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So she's going to check to see if she has a 44 in this, which is the weirdest soul I have ever seen in my life. But we'll see. I might love them. And that color's pretty good. It's not white and it's not black. And it sure as hell isn't camouflage. So the Nike 44 was too small and she doesn't have 45s. <laughs> Hello, Em. Hello. Hi. 
I love this place. So much fun. Hun Market. What do I need? I need a little patch of olive drab cloth to fix my cargo shorts. So a patch in my back pocket. Let me go find that maybe. Eh, maybe not. I'll just ask around. So let's continue. Let me show you other reasons why I'm in love with this place, okay? So I still need shirts. And my strict rule about no cotton is becoming a little more moot every day because it's cooling off. So, you know, pretty soon I'll be wearing layers. I'll be wearing an, a, you know, a base layer and a shirt on top of that and maybe a fleece and maybe a shell to ride a motorbike. So I think I'm going to relax my requirement of zero cotton and go get a couple of nice shirts. I know the lady who sells them. I know where she is. She's in Con Market. I was just at Han Market. H-A-N Market. Han River, right? Han Market, Han River. And in fact, Han Market's been there for a long time. You know, 100 years, maybe more. Probably more, 150 years. So let me go get my motorbike and we'll pop over to Con Market. Ch Han. Ch Han. Ch C H O. I was wandering around here saying, Where is Cho Han? Where is Cho Con? And I asked my landlady, How come nobody knew what I was talking about? And she said, it's ch. It is not cho. It is ch con. Ch con. <laughs> you got to get the accents right, right? <laughs> and I'm going to zoom across the city and park in the basement of Big C, which is now called Go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> He's the parking attendant in the bottom of Indochine Tower. <laughs> I'm walking down the ramp. Okay, I'm going to turn this off for a second. I'll turn it back on when I get to the big C or to the basement of Go. Okay.
that's another reason why I love this place. It's because it's so much fun. <laughs> it is. I mean, riding a motorbike is a blast. And this whole environment, the, ar the architecture here is designed around motorbikes. Parking is designed around motorbikes. There are some cars and more and more cars, but still the vast overwhelming majority of transportation here is motorbike. Xin chào. Xin chào. <laughs> Just like an American to stick a camera in somebody's face. <laughs> I used to totally like not like to do that and I hated it, but I've always gotten great reactions from people for doing it. Nobody's ever gotten mad, not yet. Not the Vietnamese anyway. Okay, so this is the first floor of Go, and the upper floors look really similar to Latte Mart, and I don't think they're the same owners, but they may as well be. Hello. So I'm going shirt shopping. I'm going to turn this off till I get over there. Hello. No oh, thanks. <laughs> this is what I mean by you don't need to go hiking in Da Nang because you're already hiking. Always. Eek. What the fuck? No, no, it's down this one. My friend who sells shirts. Okay, well, I just bought some cargo shorts and two shirts so which i am desperate in desperate need of come on xin chào Hello. I love the chaos. <laughs> oh God. I don't know that I really like neat and orderly. I think it's more fun to be just chaotic as hell. <laughs> Seriously. That's why I think I would do really well in Manhattan. 
because I think Manhattan's fairly chaotic. But who can afford to live in Manhattan? Except for the finance guys. Hello. Hello. So yeah, the chaos of this place is just thrilling, you know? So much fun. Hello. Good afternoon. Huh? Where are you from? America. Where are you from? Vietnam. Are you from Da Nang? No, I'm from Hong Kong. Oh, you too? Where are you from? Yeah. Yeah? How old are you? 14. He's 15. You're 15. Oh, wow. Pretty soon you'll be 18. You can drive. Can you drive now? Drive moto? No, you cannot drive. Can't drive moto yet. No. Uh, you feel me? I'm filming, yeah. You yeah. Have all, like, uh, I have a YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Yeah, a good one. Okay. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your channel? Hang on a second. Let me. Uh, uh, let me. Uh, I have a business card. Okay. Yeah. One moment. Well, that was nice. These two young kids, 14 and 15. I gave them my business card. Two more subscribers, probably. <laughs> And both of them spoke pretty good English, so that's fun. Okay, where to now? Oh, I know. Okay, let's go there. Up by the port. Let's go up to the port.